Making speed from the trail is almost like the holy grail of mountain biking. You go from battling it to really harnessing it. It should be smooth, it should be in control, and it should be fast. So I'm gonna ride this trail from top to bottom to see how I can make the most of it. Right, so very first section, there's sort of a four foot roll in. It's quite steep at the speed you hit it. So that time, pretty much landed flat, lost a bit of speed. So what I'm trying to do is pre-hop into this and get a good amount of pump from that bottom transition. So that time I landed down here somewhere. It was still quite quick, but I landed flat. So I'm losing a bit of momentum there, but also I'm missing out on the pump. So I'm gonna try and land on this transition with that pump, I'm just trying to exaggerate the squash. So already I would be squashing the bike into the ground. But I'm really gonna try and do it on the rear wheel because that's where you get most speed, but also it's gonna be the safest way of doing it because this is quite fast. If I try and nose it in and mess that up, I can land on my front tire down here and that's not gonna be pretty. So I'll hang back on the bike, really weight that rear tire. And even if my front wheel doesn't touch the ground till over there, it doesn't matter so much because all my weight will be over that rear tire. So at that speed, to try and get this pump right, I think I'm actually gonna to have to pre-hop. So bunny hop from before this slope and land as hard as I can on this transition. fun, but it wasn't fast. Well, I could have been a bit smoother and quicker there. It's kind of drifty up there, but also then braking quite hard and drifting a bit here and drifting too much is always going to be slower. But also there's a bit of a transition in the middle of that corner. So I slow up a little bit on the way in, so I don't slide and pump that really hard on the way out. I carry speed for another 50 meters. I got a couple of good pumps out of that corner before, but then this straight's quite undulating. So where I was trying to pedal then, I think I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Nice flat section here that I'll pedal, get as much power down as I can. Maybe wheelie over this, get a really good pump there. Then I think it's actually gonna be a bit smoother to try and gap over that little bank. If I slap into that bank too hard, I'll definitely lose some momentum. So let's get up and over it. So you probably could pedal this hole straight, but this hole's deep enough and this lump's big enough. If you get the timing wrong, if I get the timing wrong, it feels like I could whack my pedal on the floor because my rear shot's gonna be squashed in here as well just to bring me that little bit lower. So that's where it could be dodgy. Yes, I could get the timing right and get through it, but if I hit my foot on the floor here, going pretty fast, that could end up being a crash. So for me, it feels just safer to pump in, gap over that section, and then get back on the pedals again. Trails at the moment are quite drifty actually, so dry at the moment, hard pack, and then you've got this sort of leafy stuff on top, so it's easy to get sliding. So I think here actually, there's a bit of a berm on the outside, but it's quite a long way to go to it. So I'd rather chuck it up the inside as fast as I can. Then if I do start drifting, I've got a berm to go to, but I think it'll slow me down if I go all the way out to it in the first place. So I've come down quite a fast section up over a blind brown and right in front of me, I'm doing a left-hand corner and going up that fire road. You can see it's quite tempting to go inside, but because I'm going down, flat and then up, it's gonna be quite loose and it's quite fast. So I think if I go inside, I'm probably gonna slide a little bit. So what I'm gonna do here is look and I can see a bit of support underneath that tree. If I try and stick right a little bit more, I can use that bit of a bank as a berm and I reckon I'll carry much more speed.
That nice little downhill section's come to an end, but I can always use the trail to help me out on the way back up as well. So we've got a quite a steep climb here. So what I'm gonna try and do is use my horsepower as much as I can, but also I'm gonna pump down and then try and pump up that short, sharp little bit at the start, rather than just sitting down and bouncing into it and lose any momentum, I'm trying to get up and over it, then get back on the pedals. And actually, it's gonna take quite a bit of technique to get up and over that steepest bit. So I've used technique there, but I've cheated a little bit as well. I've actually flicked my twin lock lever. That shortens the travel, keeps the BB a bit higher, so the pedal's a bit higher. It's giving me some clearance. Also sits the bike up in a more aggressive climbing stance, so it works quite nicely. Right, I'm back at the top for another go, see if I can get it a bit better. It's something I used to do an awful lot of when I race downhill, is just session the same track. And I think actually it's why a lot of UK riders are so good because you don't have much elevation, you have to ride the same trail all the time, so you just do it hundreds of times to feel like you're getting it better. But also you get a good feeling for when it is fast, so you don't necessarily need the clock to tell you. If you want to see another couple of videos, click over there for speed versus style, over there for flats versus clips. Give a thumbs up if you like going fast on your bike. Oh, I'm going to have another go.